Alright, so I'm going to show how to disassemble an Acer Aspire E15, uh, E5-575-33DM. So this one's a little bit tricky, so let me show you. Okay, so first what you want to do is remove all the screws from the bottom. Um, so let me show you. Okay, same thing. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, once you remove those 16 screws, pull the CD slot out, just like this. There'll be three more screws here, so remove those three. All right, these are all Phillips. You can remove them with a PH1 or a, um, or a J1. And then after that, there's this little gap here, so get your fingernail or a pry tool and just pull up on this. It's a little bit tough to get up, but just make sure you're pulling it from this corner because if you pull it from here, the clip is going to latch on tighter and you won't be able to remove it. So from this corner, just pull it up like that, go along, and then remove it like that. So when you put it back, make sure you put this side first and then you like lay it down. The bottom and, the, and then this side would snap in place first. And then this one, this clip's a little bit tricky. But if you look at it, you see the clip is going um, inwards this way. Let's see if I can show that like that. So in order to get that clip, of course, you kind of want to flex this side up to get the clip to go outwards. That way you can get it to go into the slot. Let's see, just like that. So like that. Okay. But, so just do it like that. Okay. Remove that. Um, oops. I already took the hard drive out, but... The hard drive is pretty easy to remove. Um, it'll be just in the slot like this. Let's see if I can put this back in. Okay, so to put it back, you put the top side first, and then you put the other side down. But basically, there's this little pull tab here that you can pull on it just like that to pull it out or push it back in. Okay, so basically pull it out like that, and then lift the back side first just like that, and then you can take it out. Okay, so this one I'm upgrading to an SSD. Um, to transfer this caddy, there's four screws as well, and then you can take this um, plastic piece out and put it on the new drive. Um, there's a trick to this uh, computer that if you don't put the plastic cover back, this one, it has this little piece that sticks out, and it presses this um, button in here. And if you don't have the cover in, or if the cover's broken and it's not pushing this button, the laptop won't turn on. So make sure if your computer's not turning on, check that this switch is being pressed. You can test it by kind of using something uh, not too sharp, but you can use like maybe like the back of a screwdriver or um, preferably something not con electrically conductive like this metal. But um, basically you would just push on that maybe with the pencil eraser and then try turning it on while you're pressing that if your computer's having problems turning on. Um, Okay, so once you have all those screws out, there's two more in here. There will be one screw here and one screw here. And then um, yours might have two sticks of RAM. This one has one. Um, and then you'll have to remove this one connector here. It's a little bit tricky to do while it's closed because there's not much room. So if you can't really remove it, um, usually you would grip the two sides and kind of just keep wiggling it back and forth. Don't use too much force, but keep wiggling it and eventually it'll pop out. Um, but if you can't reach, um, what you want to do is remove this first. Um, the side with the CD slot will go up first, so make sure because um, these ports, they stick out. And if you try and lift this side first, it'll, it'll pull up the motherboard so you can damage it. So make sure you lift from the CD drive slot first, okay? So like all my other videos, um, basically just start from like a gap like on the front or wherever. Um, I kind of had this already popped open, but basically you just slide your nails or a pry tool all the way along the edges like this. Okay. You just go all the way around. Let's see if I can show it. Go all the way around. Go around these edges. Okay. Make sure you pop it up. The CD slot might be a little tricky, so make sure you be gentle with it, but um, you can like twist it to get it to unleash, um, unlatch, and then just go all the way around, okay, all right, and then there's some clips on the back here, so make sure you get those, 
just like that. And if it doesn't come apart, just slide all the way across. Once you get that, again, lift from the CD drive slot first. And when you lift it like that, it'll actually come out pretty easily. Make sure to be careful if you leave this cable connected. Um, but now that you can move it aside like that, you have more room. So you can grab this cable, kind of wiggle it, just keep wiggling it. See if you do it slowly, it'll eventually come out. Don't use too much force or you can rip this connector off the board. Um, you don't want to do that or you'll lose uh, the speakers. So that's for the speakers. So if you need to replace the speakers because you damaged the cable here, then you can replace those. They're not held in with any screws. They're just held in with these rubber things um, with friction. Okay. So set that aside. Now you can see they have a replaceable um, USB and audio jack. And then you can see this is the cable for the keyboard. Um, I, the keyboard is held in with these melted plastic things, which is kind of um, tricky to do if you don't have like a 3D printing pen to melt plastic back on top. So if you are going to replace the keyboard, replace like the whole top panel. Um, then you see the hinge. It's held in with one more screw. You got the DC jack here. Connects right here. The wireless card. Um, Yep, connects with the two antennas here. I, as in my other videos, you pull straight up from the back, the tail, and it'll un unleash it. If you pull from like here, you could break the connector. So make sure you pull from the tail. And when you put it back, just line it up and then push it straight down. Then you see the battery. It's not held in with any screws. You just lift it out and disconnect this. Same with all the other stuff. You kind of just wiggle it back and forth. You got the LCD connector that you just kind of pull straight up with this. Um, sometimes I like to pull up and then while I'm pulling it up I can I'll like use my fingernail to kind of pry one corner it makes it a little bit easier to get it up the processor soldered to the board the RAM again two slots um, there's one in this one but yours might have two already and you got the trackpad cable here um, I'm not gonna take the motherboard out I took one out already there's not many screws there's actually only two screws holding the motherboard and then two holding the fan um, in order to remove the motherboard you'll have to remove the fan disconnect it and then those two screws um, but other than that that's pretty much it um, this uh, oh this is the backlight cable for your keyboard so if for some reason your keyboard backlight's not coming up it, it has to do with, this is the cable that powers that so it could either be damaged there or maybe something got damaged on the backlight system. But that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.